In today's episode, we have a special request. As we have been working through our collections series, a couple of you have asked me what the setup is that I have been using to show each of the collections and something that you can use to practice through your collections. So today, I'm gonna to show you exactly what I did from scratch. Let's say Laravel new, and of course I do have the Laravel installer and it makes it very simple to start a brand new project. So I'll say Laravel new, collection and I do have my actual collections project that I've been using on the course in this same computer so I'm just going to call it collection 2019 and there it is so the rest of the setup I will do through PHP storm so let me cd into the project and get it open in my editor So here in PHP storm we see this project and obviously it is a brand new project I won't have to do a lot of setup for it since we're really only using it as a playground for collections. So what I want to do is I want to open up the terminal. Now by default in PHP Storm, the terminal displays here at the bottom. But the way I've been using it for this project is I moved it to the right. That way I can show it side by side. So eventually I will close the browser here on the left and give us the full screen for playing around with collections. So let's create a command. That's what I've been using. So PHP artisan make command and I'm going to call it collection command. So now that the command is created, we need to add that to the console kernel. So console kernel. And as you can see up here, that file is located inside app console and then kernel.php and this is where you would add your commands so my command is collection command class all right let me close that left window let's open up that console command collection command what's the command name let's say collection example and you can add a description if you'd like laravel collection playground you can get rid of this and all you need is simply the handle method which for now i will just die and dump inside just so that you know that it worked let me make this slightly bigger and let's say php artisan and let's whip up and if you did everything correct it's right here right your command is right there so you can run php artisan collection example and it says inside then if you're going to be running this over and over and over, what you could do is add a clear command right before. That way your screen is cleared before running the command. So you could say clear and then two ampersands and then you write PHP artisan collection example. And so now if we just arrow up over and over, you see we can run that command and always get a nice clean screen before we have our results in the terminal okay so the last step you got to do is we got to make a new class so let me pop open this so inside app i'm going to create a new php class and i will call it collection example and collection example is a very simple class it will have one method simply called example let me close that and this is where you're going to be playing with your collections this is where i would type something like return collect one two three and four and give me the first one for example as a very basic example so how do we call this method back in the command in the handle what i could do is i can die and dump new collection example but this is not enough right we need to call that example method so i'm going to wrap all of this in another set of parentheses and then i'm going to call that example on it and if we run our command there we are and that's it. That's the setup that I've been using. So to use it, you're going to be playing with this collection example class to mess around with the collections. So if I change this from first to last, for example, I would go back to the terminal and then click the up arrow, which brings back that clear and PHP artisan collection example. Hit enter. And now we get four. So now you have a nice playground that you can play with for all of your collections. Now in PHP Storm, it is nice that you can have the terminal over here on the right. However, if your terminal is separate, like in this case here, you can run the exact same command. If you run PHP Artisan in here, you will see that collection example and you can run the exact same command. We'll say clear 
and run PHP Artisan Collection Example. Whoops, looks like I made a typo here. Collect, ah, there it is, Collection Example. And you get the same result. The difference is that you don't have to switch back and forth, but a lot of editors do have built-in terminals, and they are convenient for stuff like this. Keep the questions coming. If you have any other questions or you want to know how I'm doing something and you're not sure, definitely leave a comment below. I'll try to get to all of them if I can. So I hope that helps. This is Victor for Coder's Tape. We'll see you next time.